Hi everyone, welcome back to Java class. In today's session, we will learn how to perform various operations on MySQL data table using graphical user interface in Java programming language. For here, you can see we have developed a student management system application where you can perform different operations like create, read, update, delete, and reset on MySQL data table. So let us understand how this application will work. So in order to create records, you can enter data inside these text field. For example, the ID is one, the name you can write here like Hina here, the age is like 22, the course you can write, for example, BTEC, right? And you will click on a create. So inside this text area, it will display the record created successfully. In order to read the data means this is inserted successfully or not you can click on a read button or it will say your data is inserted you can insert more data inside it for example the id is 2 you can enter your name is like amit age is like 28 the course is like again i can write ampere here so you can click on create it will display your record created successfully or in order to read the data, you can click on read, right? So these data or these records has been inserted your MySQL data table. Let us see how this update will work, okay? For example, corresponding this ID 2, you would like to change the name of a person. So you can use like Amit Kumar here, right? Or you would like to update the age of a person from 28 to 30. Or you would like to change the course like for example from mtech to msc right and click on update it will show record updated successfully when you click on the read operation you can see your data is updated the name is amit kumar the age is 30 and course also has been updated so in order to delete your data you can just go to the delete so for example, this data you would like to delete corresponding to ID 2, you will click on this delete button. So your data will be deleted. Or if you would like to reset your data, means you would like to clear your form, you can click on the reset button. You can see the form will be cleared. Or if you would like to delete some data, for example, corresponding to ID 2, you would like to delete some data, right? You can click on delete. It is showing record deleted successfully. You can see by clicking on the read button. Click on the read, and here it is showing only one record inside a database. So, how to create this application in Java programming language? So, let us understand with the help of a programming example. Okay. So, let me just close it and let me help you to understand how to create this graphical user interface it is very easy program right let me close it so what i have done here you can see i have created a class student management system that will extend a j frame because we have we are creating a j frame and it will implements the action listener interface because we are performing different event from the buttons action event we are performing so in order to set up some driver name and database url we have created a JDBC driver name. This is the name of a driver and this is your database. So we have to create a database, student database inside MySQL database or let me help you to understand first how to set up your database and database and data table. Okay, so in order to create a database student DB, we are using this query. And we are creating a table inside it that is student table that contains the four different fields like ID, name, age, and course. So you will execute all these queries and you will run it. So inside your schema, you can see the student database is created. And this is your table that contains four different columns. So this is a way how can you set up your database. Let us move to the Eclipse IDE and understand how this program will be developed and will be created. So we have set it the URL name that is a driver name and the URL here, right? So guys, multiple video sessions I have created in the previous classes in order to connect your program with database. You can 
go through that part also. That's why I have written, I have done some homework inside this program. So this is your username and password of your MySQL username and password, how to create the different swings component. So let us run this program and you will see what are the different swings component. So here we can see we have multiple swings component. We have a label like ID, name, age and course. We have the text field, four text field and we have five buttons and one text area. Or here you can see means these are the four text field, right? And this is about how to create the four text field one two three and four we have created the five buttons and one text area right so let me close it here and you can see the out so these swings component you will create first then after this we are initializing the constructor student manual system we are setting the title for a frame and we are setting the layout is null because we will use a set bounds function in order to align your different component. So this is a way how to create a label that is for ID. This is the text field for ID. In the similar way, we have created a name and name text field, then age and age text field, then course and course text field. This you will create first. You can see here four labels and four text field. Then after this, you will create the four different buttons like create, read, update, delete and reset. So you can see this is the code to create the four different buttons or these are the four different buttons like create, read, update, delete and reset. So using set bound function, you can set the positions and alignment of your components, right? Next move, you can see this is a text area, right? So we have created a text area that will display your details. Now you are performing the events like action event. So here you will register, right? Register the button actions. So corresponding all the buttons, you will register your add action listener. And this, this is your JFrame properties and you are making the frame as visible. So you know very well in order to perform the action event, you will override a method action performed method or inside it, you will check which button is selected by the user. So here you can see we are just using the if condition. If you selected this create button, its object name is button create. If e dot get source is equal equal button create, you will call the create records function. Or in the similar way, you are performing or you are checking the conditions for different buttons. When you click on the reset button, so what will you do? You will just clear this, these text field, right? So we are just clearing these text field, right? So this is the code for your action performed method. So this is the code for your action performed method. Let us move to the next. So here now I have added the different methods in order to perform the create, read, update and delete operations. So these codes also I have discussed in our previous video session means how to create the data, how to create records. So simply you will use a query insert into students. These details you will insert and these details will come from the graphical user interface. So in order to execute your dynamic query, you have to use the prepared statement interface object, right? And you will execute your query inside it. Then you will use the methods of prepared statement interface like set string, set int, in order to set the value that will come from your graphical user interface. So you can see here, this is a form, and let me help you to understand it. So you are trying to set the value of first column. So first column value will be what? The name of a user. ID will be created automatically, right? So name of a user. So how will you get this text field name is the text name and how will you get the entered text from the user? You will use a get text method. In the similar way for age, the age is an integer value. You have to convert it into the integer dot percent. And you will use stmt.setInt and that will be 
set in the next column the age in the similar way you will set the course value then you will cal just you will execute the method you will call a method that is statement dot execute update it will update your row and will display a message record created successfully that that will be displayed in the text area this is a text area right so this is a create record function in the similar way you can use a read function how to read the data simply you will use a query select star from the students and you will execute a while loop or inside your text area you will display that data like id of a person name of a person the age of a person and the course in which the student has enrolled this is the code of a read records in the similar way you can go to the update record so these function guys i have discussed already multiple times in our previous video sessions so that's why i'm not repeating the same task again and again so how to update the record simply you will use the update query update students you can update the name age course corresponding to a particular id that id will be come from the user right from the graphical user interface okay you will use again the prepared statement interface here also and how to delete the record so you will simply use a delete query where the id is a particular id the data will be deleted and here you can see inside a main function you are just loading the driver or you are calling this constructor so in order to write this program or to develop this program we can have the multiple ways to implement this program but this is the one way to implement this program we have to follow the modular approach we will create the multiple functions in order to perform multiple operations right so now your program is completed again let me just show you what we have done this is your main function then you can see this is your delete record then this is a update record function then this is a read record and here you can see this is again create record function this now here this is the body of your handler action performed function where you are checking which button the user has selected and these are the graphical user interface code guys right you can see the complete code so you have to do this practice you will write this program by the scratch from the scratch you will write this program and you will do the practice of it okay so let me show you once again how will it work so again you will enter your id like one name you can enter like amit age is 34 and the course you can enter the btech or you can see the mysql database inside this mysql database we have set up the database using these queries and this table is created like student or in initially this table doesn't have any data so let me just click on a create it will display record created successfully if you will click on read it will read the data or if you will go to the mysql data table you will refresh it you can see the data is inserted right in the similar way you can insert multiple records or you can perform the update operation for example you would like to update the name like from amit to amit kumar or age is like like 32 or course you would like to update like m tech you can click on update to record updated successfully you will just read it or you can see your record has been updated successfully you can go to my sequel also and it is showing your updated name and updated age and updated course also you can delete this data okay you can delete this data this is your id you can click on delete it will display record has been deleted click on the read button you can see it is not showing anything and if you will see in my sql data table it is not showing anything your data is deleted right or if you click on the reset it will clear this form click on the reset it will clear this form okay so guys i hope you understand how to work on this the crude operations like crude means create read update or delete operations on my sql data table using a java swings component by using a graphical user interface so guys i hope you understand this if you like this video please click on the like button subscribe the channel and please do not mention to for do not mention to do not forget to mention the feedback in the comment section
Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next class with a new interesting video session. Bye bye for now. Good night.